What is going on guys? This is Gears of War Ultimate Edition Beta. Um, this is like maybe my 10th game. Um, I don't know what rank I am in this, but I've played a handful of games before and let me tell you, it's been like two years since I've played Gears of War 1 and I kind of got back into Gears of War 3 a few months ago and it is just, it's, it, there's a big learning curve that you have to get adjusted to because in Gears of War 3, it is all, you know, fast, fluid, and smooth, and this game is just really slow and clunky like the first game was. So, if, um, if you never played Gears of War 1, you're gonna get, you're gonna have to get adjusted to this. A little bit about the gameplay. This isn't me going super tryhard or anything. I'm not, um, showing this video just to show off the gameplay. I'm mostly just uploading this and making a commentary because I really enjoy Gears of War and I was very excited whenever I heard about the uh, the beta and the uh, remastered and also Gears of War 4. So I want to make some Gears of War beta videos and this is, I want to showcase um, every map that you can play. So far there's only gridlock and canals. I'm not sure if they're going to add any more maps or not, but after um, the community played 10,000 matches collectively, they added in canals, so I'm wondering if we, whenever we play 20,000, they're going to add in something else. I hope they do, and I'm not um, too sure, but I think every day of the beta, you get a new skin for your guns. I'm not sure if they're going to be exclusive or whatever. Uh, Gears of War 3 uh, did kind of the same thing with um, character skins. But they ended up coming out for everybody else anyway, so I'm not sure how that's going to be. But I'm pretty sure it's going to carry over to the main game. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this beta. It is, uh, like I said, kind of clunky and uh, slow-paced, like Gears of War 1 was. But uh, Gears of War 1 was my all-time favorite multiplayer game ever. And that's the only game I've ever taken seriously uh, competitively and still kind of is the only game to this day that I've ever taken uh, seriously. Uh, maybe except for like Counter-Strike but you know other multiplayer games like Halo and Call of Duty, uh, Battlefield, just stuff like that. I never really cared. I just kind of played to play but this game I really tried super hard back in the day uh, back in 2008 and 9. Um, that's whenever I mostly played the game. I've seen some videos of the uh, actual retail copy of Ultimate Edition from like uh, Gears of War, their YouTube channel, and um, I've seen I saw some uh, Gears of War 2 maps, which I thought was uh, well. Let me take that back. I've only I only saw one Gears of War 2 map. I didn't see a whole bunch of them or anything. But Gold Rush, um, I didn't. I played Gears of War 2 a lot, but I never really played it all that much. Um, Whenever Gears of War 2 was out, I really just played mostly Gears of War 1 still. But I do remember playing Gold Rush, and I can't remember if I liked the map or not because it's been so long, but I think it's cool that they're adding maps from other games. I know it's a Gears of War 1 uh, remaster or whatever, but um, it wouldn't hurt adding in some Gears of War 2 and 3 elements, uh, like the gun skins for one thing. That's a Gears of War 3 thing, and here it is in the beta. Um, I personally like that. Some people may not just because it is uh, not at the core roots of Gears of War 1 or whatever. And I can see where they're coming from. But to make the uh, multiplayer a little bit more fresh, um, they would probably have to add a whole bunch of maps from Gears 2 and maybe even Gears 3. Um, add some skins. I don't know about character skins. I don't know if they're going to do anything like that. But right now in the beta, there's the basic Gears of War 1 characters. Um, as you can see in this video, I'm playing as Carmon, and um, I'm just kind of rambling on right now. I don't really have much else to say, but I will, and I am planning on making a video for um, each of the maps whenever they're released um, for the beta, and maybe making a video a day, depending on if they add in more stuff for us to unlock, like weapon skins and stuff. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to. I hope they do. That would be really cool. Um, as far as I know, the beta lasts until the 23rd, which is a little bit less than a week, that's six days from now. So, by the time this video is uploaded, it's going to be next Wednesday. Or no, I'll take that back next Tuesday. That's whenever it, um, the beta is going off. So, you know, that's six days, maybe six new weapon skins. I'm hoping um, 
Hoping, I'm hoping that's the case. If not, it's not a big deal or anything, you know, it's just weapon skin, but it just gives the players a little bit more incentive to play the game more. And I'm hoping they add in new maps, too. I saw some videos of uh, War Machine, and um, to be completely honest, I forgot all about that map until I saw that video of it. I really loved that map back when I played Gears of War, and Gears of War 1 all the time, but I want to say they did bring it back in Gears 2, but they obviously didn't in Gears 3. Could be wrong about that, though, about Gears 2. Another map I'm looking really forward to, if I had to guess the next map that is uh, going to be released, if it's by popular demand, I would say Raven Down just because that is just, you know, one of the biggest Gears of War 1 maps there is. By biggest, I don't mean, you know, the actual map size, but just how many people really like it. But I personally don't think it's going to be a good idea just because Raven Down only has two weapons. Um, well, one weapon, really, but two spawns, uh, the grenades. And for a beta, we need to test out everything, not just grenades. So I feel like if they added in Raven Down, it'd be fun to play, don't get me wrong, I would really like it. But it wouldn't really be smart for the beta, because we're testing out the game right now, and if, you know, we're just all running around with our shotguns and stuff, we could do that on any other map. And Raven Down, I'd rather have a map like Field Depot or uh, Mansion in place of Raven Down, just because there's more stuff to do on those maps. That's just my opinion, though. Again, if they added in Raven Down today or tomorrow, I'd be perfectly happy with it because I like that map. I'm hoping they add in some more maps. Um, so far, like I said, they have Canals and Gridlock as the time I'm recording this. Um, they're both really great. Uh, my next video, I already have it recorded, is actually Canals. And it's it looks really nice. I don't like Gears of War 2 Canals just because it's all iced over. I didn't care for that look, but it's back to its roots in Gears 1. It's kind of dark and grungy. It just feels really nice. And um, also right now they have two game types. They have Team Deathmatch and King of the Hill. As you can obviously tell, this is King of the Hill. My next video is going to be Canals, Team Deathmatch. Uh, that video is a little bit shorter because Team Deathmatch goes by a lot quicker. So yeah, I kind of run, I'm running out of things to talk about. Um, I hope I didn't bore you guys too much. Um, if you are interested in my other videos, uh, subscribe because I'm definitely going to upload some more Gears of War Ultimate Edition beta videos this week. This one's going up today. The next one might go up today or tomorrow. I'm not sure. But if there's new stuff added, I'm going to upload some videos of it. So uh, stay tuned for that if you're interested. If not, I understand. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Got him.
Nothing less.
Got him. Could have won. Ask yourselves what happened.